Ladies and gentlemen, today we're diving into one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, PISAR, a revolutionary missile defense system designed to protect against aerial threats developed by Turkey's leading defense giants. How does it work? Why is it a game changer? And what makes it stand out on the global stage? Stick around because this is going to be an explosive breakdown. To understand the significance of HESAR, let's take a quick look at the history of surface-to-air missile defense. It all started during World War II, when Nazi Germany developed the first operational systems. But it was during the Cold War that nations like the US, the Soviet Union, and the UK took these systems to the next level, replacing traditional anti-aircraft guns. Today, virtually every modern army relies on these high-tech weapons to protect their skies. Turkey makes a bold move to develop its own state-of-the-art missile defense system. With Asilsan and Rocketsan at the helm, and Tubitak Sarge and Meteksan Defense contributing their expertise, the Hisar project was born. The goal, to create a multi-layered, fully independent air defense system. And after years of rigorous testing and technological breakthroughs, it was finally ready to take flight. Air defense is more crucial than ever in modern warfare. From drones to ballistic missiles, aerial threats are evolving rapidly. To counter these dangers, Turkey has developed the Hisar Air Defense System, a multi-layered shield that can neutralize threats at different altitudes and ranges. But what makes it so effective? Let's break it down. Hisar system consists of three tiers. Hisar A, plus for low altitude defense. Hisar O, plus for medium altitude interception. Hisar U, Cyper, for long range threats. Each plays a crucial role in protecting strategic locations from enemy aircraft, drones, and missiles. Now, let's examine each system in detail. Designed to counter low flying threats like helicopters and drones, Hisar R A plus is mounted on an FNSS ACV 30 armored vehicle for quick deployment. It features check air surveillance radar, and EO slash IR sensors for precise tracking. Engagement range, two kilometers to 15 plus kilometers. Altitude coverage, 30 meters to eight plus kilometers. This system ensures enemy aircraft can't operate freely at low altitudes. Stepping up in power, HISAR O Plus is designed to intercept fighter jets, cruise missiles, and drones at medium altitudes. Mounted on a Mercedes-Benz Zetros 6x6 military truck, it offers check RF guided targeting for precise interceptions. Engagement range, three kilometers to 25 plus kilometers. Altitude coverage, 50 meters to 15 kilometers. Speed, can hit targets moving at Mach 2. This makes HISAR-O plus an essential part of Turkey's layered air defense. The most powerful system in the HISAR family is Hizar U or Cyper. This long range defense system protects against ballistic missiles, bombers, and high speed aircraft. Equipped with dual pulse rocket motors for extended range, uses active radar and infrared imaging seekers for high precision. Engagement range 30 kilometers to 150 plus kilometers. Altitude coverage. 100 meters to 20 kilometers. It's expected to be integrated into Turkey's TF 2000 air defense destroyer, expanding its reach beyond land-based operations. The Hizar family forms a multi-layered protective shield. Hizar A plus secures low altitudes. Hizar O plus covers the medium range. Hizar U defends long-range targets. Together, they create a powerful air defense network strengthening Turkey's security against modern threats. For decades, Turkey has sought to strengthen its air defense capabilities in response to regional threats. Since the mid-1990s, missile threats from neighboring Syria, Iraq, and Iran have made air defense a national priority. Despite launching multiple tenders in the early 2000s, Turkey struggled to procure a suitable system. The Syrian civil war in 2011 further escalated security concerns. In response, Turkey turned to NATO for support. The US, the Netherlands and Germany deployed Patriot missile defense systems within Turkey. Today, Spain and Italy continue to provide air defense assistance under NATO missions. However, Turkey recognized the need for an independent and long-term solution, leading to renewed efforts to develop its own system. One of Turkey's first major procurement attempts 
was with China's FD-2000 defense system, which met its technical requirements. However, NATO objections and US sanctions against the manufacturer led to the deal's cancellation. The American-made Patriot system was also considered, but was ultimately rejected due to its high cost and the manufacturer's unwillingness to transfer technology. In 2017, Turkey made a strategic decision to purchase the Russian S-400 air defense system in a $2.5 billion deal. This move triggered significant opposition from the United States, which cited several concerns. The deepening defense ties between Turkey, a key NATO member, and Russia, a strategic rival. The risk of Turkey shifting away from US defense suppliers in favor of alternative manufacturers. Potential US sanctions under the CAA TSA law which could further strain Turkish-American relations. Security risks to NATO's F-35 fighter jet program, as the S-400 system could expose sensitive aircraft data. From NATO's perspective, a key issue is that the S-400 system cannot be integrated into its existing air defense network, raising questions about interoperability and security coordination. Turkey's decision to pursue an independent air defense strategy continues to shape regional security dynamics, reflecting both national priorities and evolving geopolitical realities. Turkey is making waves in air defense with the Cyper system. This next-gen long-range missile defense can neutralize threats over 100 kilometers away, pushing Turkey into an elite league of nations with advanced air defense capabilities. On December 30th, 2022, Turkey conducted a historic test. Cyper intercepted a target at over 100 kilometers, proving its ability to protect against high-speed aerial threats. And this is just the beginning. The Block 2 version aims to push the range even further while introducing ballistic missile interception, making Cyper a serious contender against some of the world's top air defense systems. But Cyper isn't Turkey's only air defense breakthrough. The High Sar R family, a layered defense system designed to counter threats at different altitudes. High Sar R, A, low altitude protection against drones, helicopters, and low flying aircraft. High Sar R O, medium range defense, targeting fighter jets, cruise missiles, and UAVs. Cyper, the long-range powerhouse, safeguarding strategic assets against high-speed threats. Together, these systems create a multi-layered shield, giving Turkey full-spectrum air defense, a crucial advantage in modern warfare. With these advancements, Turkey joins an elite club of nations with indigenous air defense capabilities, reducing reliance on foreign technology. This puts it in competition with systems like the Patriot, S-400, and Aster-30. This rapid progress signals Turkey's rise as a global defense powerhouse. But what does this mean for the future of air warfare? We want to hear from you. Are Seeper and Hisar a game changer in modern warfare? Could Turkey become a leader in air defense technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you love military tech breakdowns, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more deep dives.